What the brap is up everybody? Hey, it's Cody with Dirt Nap Dirt Back Adventures Channel here bringing you another vlog from the 701. Today, we got a special treat for you. In today's video, we're incorporating adventure into everyday work and life. I was supposed to be doing the Utah BDR and unfortunately, time and money never really came together. So I loaded the bike for camping, tools are on the job, the job is in the mountain, so up we go. And I hear there's a beautiful, beautiful ride into where I am headed, so I thought I would share that with you all. But we'll get into that right after this. Alright guys, so this may be the longest way to the job possible. But I do believe that if I go through my favorite canyon, which we're heading up to right now, that I should be able to connect and find the beautiful way into where I'm working. So we're going to give it a shot. So that's a little creepy. Like that hurt. Ouch. Hello. So I'm, I'm just parking above Timpanogos. So okay. adventure is what it is. Just adventure. Like I was saying earlier, I have to work. Could have been all bummed out. Just took the truck. Just been another day at work. It's actually kind of a cool location, so that wouldn't have sucked. However, why not just make it an adventure? They said they were fine with me camping in the backyard or they said I could even sleep in the house, but that's not too much of an adventure. Plus I have a new sleeping bag that I want to test out in some chilly weather and it should be chilly tonight for sure. Uh, today was the last day that I could have been in this area on the BDR. It just didn't happen this year, so that's okay. Gives us something to look forward to next year. Hopefully, get to do uh, another BDR in December with a good friend of mine in New Mexico, but that is uh, still up in the air. So, anyway, I'm gonna shut up for a minute and let you enjoy this beautiful scenery. The route that I'm on is called the Alpine Loop and a lot of cars and motorcycles come up and take this route when the snow allows. So this may be one of the last times to get to see this unfortunately this year. So hop on the bike theoretically. Sit back in your bed, the couch, at work. Please don't do this driving, but join me on the Alpine Loop with the 701, baby! This here is Timonogos Cave, National Monument, up there. We can hike up four feet and check out the cave. It's pretty cool, slag tides, uh, dark, a little bit smelly, but pretty cool nature. Nature's hike. It's a pretty steep hike, and the kids are pretty darn cool. I'm side note that I remember when I was about five years old, my grandpa, grandma, and my mom dragged me on that hike, and I thought it would never end. I was gonna tell you, I just wanted to go home. It's really like a mile and a half hike or something. And it is steep, but it's funny how things change over time in your perspective of things, right? Oh, yeah. 
it's pretty easy to see why this is my favorite canyon. That left hand turn is where I usually go ride. On 300. And camp. On 300 on 701. And I take. Motorcycle enjoying the beautiful views with us. I love it. We're getting into some Tim territory here on the road. Twisties. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop. Wasn't planning on it, but we're gonna have to get you guys a good view of that let's throw on my inner jacket because the weather that's supposed to be here tomorrow stopping me from the BDR it feels like it's in the air right now Wow hola como esta sup lady Apparently the tripod doesn't go high enough for her. <laughs> what a smart ass. get all this alpine loop in for you we're really going to see another area but hey when the opportunity arises you gotta see it today What's up ladies? What's up water? Man Motorcycle Club in the house! I'm getting closer to that than I think. <laughs> now we're up in the Aspens. This is what Grandpa Tony loved. I always gotta find myself in the Aspens. Yeah, no offense, but go back to California, please.
Salamander Flats, dispersed campground. End up there a lot when riding and camping. Although I've never actually slept there. But to many of my adventures, that is in there. Salamander Flats. trying to get you guys uh, the whole loop but with this traffic being so slow might have to obviously cut some parts out man look how beautiful that is if I didn't know that it meant my riding time is over for six months up here this would be my favorite time of the year Beep, beep. So around this area, um, two days ago the wife came up on a hike with Deej the puppy, my puppy, Siberian Husky, you may have seen him in some of the videos him in many more hopefully but uh all of a sudden i guess he went on point and they saw a big moose there's some horses ass for you damn just come around the corner hop brah i'm sure in your minivan you paid all the taxes for this fucking road <laughs> sure of it this little area I've been riding down before on the other bike with Squatch and I saw a couple moose and that's uh, that's a perfect example I'm not sure what kind of bike that was but uh, obviously he enjoys the mountains enjoys motorcycles and Taking a little adventure, I dig it. Too many people, myself included, fall into the trap. I have to have the perfect bike for the perfect ride, for the, the perfect gear and everything. And the more I'm doing it, yeah, I appreciate the perfect bike and perfect gear, definitely. However, this uh, year I'm kind of learning too how many adventures did I miss just thinking I needed to have the perfect whatever luckily for me I was very 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 fortunate the stars aligned and the 701 I'm sitting on came into my world at the right time and man have we had some adventures this year it's been awesome made some new friends seeing new places that I would never have seen you okay there pops 
How about we stay on our perspective sides of the road? That would be awesome. Thank you for choosing a red car. I appreciate that. You just gotta, number one, be willing to accept the adventure or the uh, opportunities that come into your life. I almost shied away from this wonderful opportunity out of pride, out of believing I didn't deserve it, out of fear, a lot of fear. To go five mile, hundred miles away from home all alone to meet somebody that I have seen their videos on YouTube but never met was a little bit sketchy. Let me tell you what, people. Probably to my detriment, I have fun with every dollar I have. And then some. <laughs> I am not condoning that, nor encouraging that. I'm just telling it like it is. Oh man, this is beautiful. Oh, wow. In case none of you knew, I'm in my happy place right now. I can't even believe, honestly, that I'm sitting on this 701, riding it through this beautiful, beautiful mountain. I mean, I've fantasized about it, dreamed about it. But for most of my life, I never thought, ever, 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 that this would be a reality. And once again, what's up ladies? And now we're over by Sundance. those places I just get to ride through, enjoy the view. Because even though I identify as a millionaire, my bank account does not. So, 